Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an updated video on dry brushing because I have been doing it for six months now and I just kind of wanted to tell you some ins and outs, some things that I've learned and all that good stuff. So first off, you want to start with a quality dry brush, okay? Those bristles need to be um, like boar's hair, not synthetic. Get yourself a good quality brush that's going to last you a long time because once you get started on this, you're going to love it and you're going to want to do it more often. Okay, so step one, get your good brush. Um, step two, figure out when you would like to do this. Now, um, it can kind of provide a calming effect. Um, for my husband, it, it is more of a calming um, effect on him, but he also has really bad restless leg syndrome, so this kind of um, just helps calm that. For me, it does the complete opposite. It like energizes and helps me to wake up. So I like to do it uh, right before I hop in the shower in the morning every single day. Um, when you're very first starting out, I would only do it two or three times a week and build build up to it because your body does kind of need to get used to it. So um, there are a couple tips you need to know. You don't want to do any dry brushing on areas that are wounds, scabs, rashes, sunburn, that kind of thing, kind of common sense. Um, also, I do not do my face um, or any areas that are very, very tender, okay? Um, the rule of thumb is that you go towards your heart, um, but I find that this can also be a little misleading because you actually want to go toward the closest lymph nodes. So your lymphatic system is just underneath your skin. That's the whole point of us doing this is to help your body rid itself of toxins. So you want to um, encourage your lymphatic system to do what it's designed to do. And that is like your sewage system. Your lymphatic system gets everything moving and going um, as it's supposed to. So we want to encourage it to do it the way that um, your body is designed. So you want to make your strokes towards those lymph nodes. Now, for the most part, it is towards your heart. But there are going to be certain areas of your body that that may not fully be accurate. Okay? So you're going to do long strokes like this. Long, light strokes. Okay? Okay? And um, you, you can do every area, so you can go around your wrist. I tend to do it in compartments, all right? So do the arm, and then do the upper arm, and then do the shoulder like this, okay? Same way over here, I'm gonna do my arm, upper arm, and shoulder, okay? Pick with a number like five or seven, and you wanna do that many strokes repeatedly. Now, Super important, you do not forget your armpit and your stomach. Those are actually the key the key players. So if I am running late um, and I'm say I get I wake up late for work and I can only get it, I can only do like a minute of dry brushing, I am gonna get my armpits. So I do seven one way, seven the other, other armpit, seven one way, seven the other, and then the tummy, seven one way, seven the other. Because those are the key areas that, that you need to be hitting. Your lymph nodes in your armpits, um, about 70% of your body, your lymphatic system drains in your left armpit. So you wanna make sure that that is clean, clear, and free. That those ducts are not blocked in any way. And the way that we do that is through dry brushing, okay? Also, you need to make sure you're using a natural deodorant. That's so important that you're using a natural deodorant because if you're not, a regular deodorant actually teaches your body to turn your sweat glands off. That is terrible because we are clogging it up and we are basically having it go dormant. That's not what we want. Your body's designed to sweat. You want to sweat. You just don't want to stink. Um, so make sure you're using a natural deodorant. Um, if you're not, then you need to switch over. Also, another thing I suggest is using a charcoal soap, not just for your face if you are oily like me, but also on your armpits. I use a charcoal soap every single day on my armpits just to kind of keep that detox process going with my armpits. Okay, so hit the armpits, hit stomach every single time. Um, long strokes, and then you're gonna do um, your, your torso is just in, in the circular motion, okay? And then your legs, I do it in motions as well. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, work up to my knee, then from my knee up to my thigh. Um, make sure that you get your rump. Um, it, there actually is a noticeable difference if you do dry brush that you'll see in your cellulite over time. 
That part's crazy. Um, that wasn't a reason why I did it, but that's kind of a little perk. I have noticed that my thighs are have a little less bump to them. And at 43 years old, I, I'll, I'll take that, right? <laughs> Completely for free. Um, so doing that on a regular basis has helped the appearance of my cellulite look better. I don't know if it's actually fixed it, but it, it looks better. So hey, I'll take that. Um, also, I do think it helps me wake up a little bit in the morning. It helps me to energize a little bit. And that's, that's super nice. Um, also, I've had friends say that they dry brush when they get sick and that that helps them to be sick less. So dry brushing does boost your immune system. Um, I do it every single day though. Um, it's just something I've added to my routine. I actually enjoy it now. At first, I didn't really like it. It felt kind of weird. Um, and now I, I look forward to it because it's kind of like invigorating, kind of wakes you up. And so I look forward to it now. So it's, it's, it's very different now. Um, and it's something that I don't do without. And um, I have to say, I'm a teacher. I usually get colds. Every single cold that's in my classroom, I end up getting. And um, I have only gotten sick one time from February to December. That's a miracle. Okay. I mean, a straight up miracle. So, um, I don't know if it's from, I, I feel it's a combination. I feel it's a combo of really quality supplements that I've been taking and dry brushing because those boost your immune system in great ways. Um, but hey, I, I can't say for sure if that's what it is, but those are the only changes that I've made are taking quality supplements and adding the dry brush. So those are the big changes that I've done. So who knows? All right, drop your questions below. Um, and I have another dry brush tutorial that I, that I did when I very first started um, that you're welcome to watch as well. Um, just remember, the key players are to make sure that you hit your armpits and your stomach and um, that you're going towards your closest lymph nodes. Uh, if that's your heart, great, but it may not always be your heart. So you can't always say just go towards your heart. Um, all right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Have a great one.